Okay. So, where am I at? Uh, today was supposed to be a pretty rainy day, and it was earlier. I was dodging raindrops, trying to do a lot of things uh, onto this uh, particular project. Just was uh, sporadic at best. So, you know, start, stop, clean up, start, stop, clean up, start, stop, clean up. Uh, and in the middle of all that, as I could, I did a little bit of landscaping around the house. So, you know, just, it was an interesting day. But, cleared up a little bit hasn't rained in a while and so I was able to get back out here and where was I at well I was able to uh, attach oops sorry about that um, I was able to attach the frame together I glued it and then uh, I took it actually I took each side I took one side off glued the edges put that back put all four screws in each one of my spreaders and then did the same thing to the other side took the uh, side panel off glued it put it back together put all four screws uh, in each one of the uh, spreaders through and you can see that detail right there just four screws um, with that then I was able to lay out my bottom for a screw pattern and went ahead and got the screws ready to go there uh, flipped everything upside down and glued screwed and that was it, and I cleaned up the glue. Uh, it was a case where there was enough glue, enough surface area, as uh, enough screws to where when I flipped it back over, I did have to take a chisel and uh, a wet rag, clean up the glue that I missed the first time around as I could. And not real happy with that glue cleanup. Uh, hopefully it'll sand out a little bit on the inside. You'll, you won't see it, but it's just, it's a bother uh, with, you know, a little bit of a glue issue. So, with that being said, I had a moment or two. I had some blocks already cut uh, in a previous situation where I had some uh, fall off. And I realized uh, before the rain was going to hit a couple of days ago, actually, I said, well, let's, let's go ahead and cut these blocks because I know I'm going to need them. So, I cut more than I needed. And then I uh, watched a video, looked at the plans, uh, measured my pipe. Found a Forstner bit that was going to work, inch and a quarter actually, and I drilled all of the, actually I had an extra set of blocks, so I drilled them all except for the, the back blocks. And I just installed the first side. The pipe is still long, but you can see actually right down here is the first side. Uh, just the table saw is there for width, because honestly I'm not sure exactly where to pull measurements from in order to make all this happen. So a little bit of this is for me is just eyeballing where I think I can get the cleats onto the saw. I'm watching that video here in a little bit, and uh, once I know where the cleats are on the saw, I'm okay with this particular uh, pipe, then I'll be able to go on the other side and actually install those braces for the other side. After that, uh, I'm losing light kind of quick, so I don't know if I'll get much farther, but if I have a chance to, then I would actually start making the uh, parts that would be the, the attached to the saw that would actually then uh, rest, the pipes would rest on, or they would rest on the pipes. Uh, but I'm excited. This is uh, th this is pretty cool here. Of course, the pipers are long. I'll have to cut those off. I don't know if I'm actually going to have a stop block uh, because my pipe is going to end right in here. Is the here is actually a mark that I have. If the pipe is fully extended out underneath the saw, then when it comes all the way back that mark is right there and this mark would actually be right tight well not tight but very close to there so rather than putting a stop block i don't want to have too long of a pipe so you know because otherwise i'd have a stop block here that's yeah, you know six or seven inches but i think i can get away with actually just uh, cutting the pipe off just a little bit long actually drilling all the way through putting a bolt here as a stop because I have this much play to run out, it'll stop it here, so actually the pipe can't come out physically of the bench without me taking that out. And then I would have maybe no need for a, a pin here uh, in order because the, well actually yeah, I'd want a pin here as well because I, I need to have this pipe stop on this side so it doesn't actually run in there because it could run that extra six or seven inches and then fall out of this hole, and then there'd be a realignment issue. So drill through have a uh, just a bolt here drill through have a bolt down there and i think i've got my stop system without actually having a stop block which i've actually made they're right here but uh just because it's going to be floating in the middle of nowhere i could actually cleat this somehow i'm, I'm just going to run it and see because i can always go back if necessary and try and figure that out
Um, so, yes, working, working on it, and I'm really happy with the progress here. So, well, I'm going to put the, uh, put my phone down and think about this a little bit more uh, because now I have to figure out where does that other pipe go. And that's a little unclear. Hopefully the video will clear that up a little bit. Plans, um, I didn't see it so much on the plans. Of course, it's very saw specific. He used a DeWalt back in the day, uh, Ron Paul, because I'm using his design. Uh, and I believe we had the same, same table saw at one time until he went to the saw stops or uh, Bosch or something. Um, but in any case, though, I don't know as he actually gives measurements for this particular saw. And as long as I know where to actually pull from, that would be great. Otherwise, it's just a little bit of eyeballing. And, and, you know, if I have to move them over, I have to move them over. It's just two to four screws per block. Just as long as they line up, that'll actually work as well. So nothing's overly critical and nothing's getting glued on this one because there would be the chance of being able to adjust all of this after the fact. So I'm excited. A little bit of a challenge, not much, but a little bit. So always uh, love to problem solve. That's that's kind of the job. That's the business, right? Problem solving. Even in science, I teach science, and so problem solving. Okay, well, uh, fortunately, I love puzzles. Um, I guess next time, maybe I'll have the other pipe in, and maybe working on or have done the uh, table saw mounts.